I think my biggest mistake is to let my ego get in the way that our product was so great that everyone should just know. Now, if you think about your day and you go through it, there are so many products you see in the supermarket, there's so many messages, there's so many things that come across your path. Do you really think that that face cream is gonna be really revolutionary? So we're all screaming at, at consumers to try and say, but this is amazing. And I just thought, oh, well, they should just know and they should respect how great the product is. And really having to understand that they've got so much stuff going on in their life. So being able to have cut through and actually say, do you know what, that, that I need to get the insight of how I reach them, of how, what's the best way that I can serve them, working backwards from their needs, rather than going out and saying, this is what I've got and it's ridiculous that you haven't found it. And, you know, and I had a, a, a big disaster happen in the supermarkets because they deleted everything that we were selling them in one phone call, the most shocking phone call I could have ever received because we hadn't hit the rates of sales. And I'm saying to the buyer, but the product tastes great. And the buyer's saying, I don't really care. Once again, I'm just a vehicle to get it to the consumer. If you don't have enough consumers buying it, I'm sorry, we can't stock it anymore. Sorry, I had to rethink about the fact that the person that I was selling to was just a vehicle to get to the consumer and that really all they wanted to know was rates of sales. They didn't care what the product tasted like. And so that sense of going, but my product's gorgeous, you know, that really understanding that that's not what they were caring about. They were caring about selling six packets per store per week around the country. And it just reframes how you look at your business.